Spark FM Online, number one for urban and Caribbean music. We are back. We are back. And as you guys know, every month we bring some experts in here to talk to you guys about your money. Money Matters Monday with Chase Bank. And we're here with Angelica. How are you? Doing amazing. Happy Monday. So much fun. First of all, the studio is awesome. You? So I cannot start a better week than being with you guys. So thank, thank you so you. much. We're so, so glad to have you here. I'm so glad. Thank yeah. You. So uh, Angelica, you happen to be my personal banker because that's yeah. where I always <laughs> go in there. And you guys know I love to just go out and hang out in there because it's a beautiful space. Yeah. Um, and you are the manager. Yes. You are the manager of the branch over there. So you're a little head honcho <laughs> <laughs> He runs it. Yeah, he runs it. He runs this yeah, town. Yeah, there's some work yeah. there. So today we're going to talk about, like, today we're obviously going to talk about money and making sure that everything is right. But we're also going to talk about fraud. Yeah. We're going to talk about the things that most people are scared of when they think about banks, when they think about, you know, making transfers, all kinds of things going on. Um, so, yes, how long have you been working? How long have you been banking? How long have you been in the banks? Well, let me tell you, I just turned 16 years. Would you wow. believe that? Really? Uh, oh, yeah. It, it sounds like it was yesterday <laughs> when I was like, okay, let me do this. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, I'm having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And um, as a branch manager, you know, for the last probably uh, decade. Yeah. Uh, but it's been an awesome, awesome and fun work to do. Yeah. You know, putting all our teammates right on the front line, mm -hmm. serving our customers, working with amazing partners. You yeah. saw my good colleague and friend, Johnny, Johnny Charles. Johnny yeah. Charles. And I work with Sabrina <laughs> in the community. <laughs> you know, you know, they're part of the family now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, part yes. of them. But yeah, it's been it's been a while doing the job, mm -hmm. and obviously for me, it's all, it, it always comes down to really inform and educate our community, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh, we are those connectors. We want to make sure that they have resources and tools. So yeah, mm -hmm. 16 years, Danielle. That's wow. good. That's really good. Yeah, so yeah. what, like, when you uh, as 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 someone who works actually in the bank and working with customers, what are some of the things that mo customers are, are apprehensive about? Like they're you know like they want to start a lot of. First of all, a lot of people still don't have bank accounts, which is something that's very interesting to me. So when they come in for the first time looking for a new bank, like what is like what are they what are they scared about? Well, we want security and control, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's exactly one line. We want to yeah. make sure that you build trust. Yeah. They see a large bank and it's like, okay, it's too mm -hmm. big for me. Maybe yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I take things personal. Mm -hmm. And to me, when I do the job, I really want to make sure customers come and feel like they can trust. Yeah. Yeah. They see people like us. Hey, we just here like you right. mm -hmm. when they start something a relationship and uh you know that's pretty much what someone will not trust about you mm -hmm. know they need to feel like they come into a place where okay uh my banker has the right answers they mm -hmm. want someone knowledgeable they want the right services the right products and also see with someone that genuinely connects with you right yeah. Yeah. it's important yeah. to feel like you're in a place where hey listen it, you cannot take lightly to select the place where you want to bank on yeah it's your money mm -hmm. today we're talking about protect, protecting your money mm -hmm. but also is the relationship that you want to build and yeah. i can tell you something for me when i manage a team of people and they're in the front line mm -hmm. we want to make sure we create a place that you feel so welcome yeah. yeah and that's so important because i think that chase is known to be a big bank and mm. that might be intimidating to some people but i think to some people it might be very very comforting too to have a little you know feels a little prestige it's like i think with chase bank. <laughs> <laughs> but you know but how you can be in a brand because uh, we're like you know a, a wonderful brand mm -hmm. yeah. commercial here but uh, i want you how do you bring this big large bank into a community where right. you yeah exactly. like can walk in there yeah and this is and you know what i love the most mm -hmm. when customer says this is my bank. Yeah. 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 It's the bank of my community. Yeah. Yeah. That tells me we're doing the job. Yeah. It tells me that. We're it's also right. just separate, and not to separate it because Chase is Chase, but when you have these smaller community banks, you feel like not only are you banking at a big bank, mm -hmm. but it Absolutely. also feels very, you know, like not credit union ish, but yep. you know, like very small bank and intimate bank. And then I also feel like when I know people there that they will be more inclined to look out so right, i do yeah. that with everything in school yeah. too like yeah. you know i'm almost here you'll watch my child better <laughs> you know <Right. laughs> see, you say yeah. you just, just touch a really important a part that i love of what i do mm -hmm. is when now family members say let me bring my sister let me yeah. bring my cousin mm -hmm. yeah. let me you know I, I, you go to the cycles yeah. of growth financially mm -hmm. of a client 
I tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the best part. It is. It's awesome. So it's awesome. Let's get into protecting our money. So yes. one of the things that, you know, people are like, I'm not putting my money in no bank. You know, next thing you know, the bank, it was Silicon Valley. You know, like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, I don't have no money. Um, what are some, like, what, what are the most, the most, uh, not regular, the most kinds of fraud that we see in mm -hmm. banks that happen? Um, wonderful question. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about this because there are a lot of scams out there mm -hmm. and fraud and knowledge. You know, today, uh, if there's something we're gonna leave in this show is to make sure we educate our community, but also to be aware of yeah. what is out there, right? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you something. There is actually one that is we seeing customers across the banks in the country yeah. that is really hitting bad. Uh, it's really about getting a text from their financial institution. Oh, okay. So, okay, listen to this. Mm -hmm. So you get a text from your financial institution mm -hmm. trying to confirm if you made a purchase of you withdraw the money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. then obviously because it's a scam, mm -hmm. guess what? You answer no. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when you reply, uh -huh. scammers make a call and they call you. Yeah. And they try to retrieve your passcode, your user ID, send you a verification oh. code. And let me tell you, sometimes they even ask you, Are listen you to this, know your social passcode, they get yeah. access to your account, let's put it that way. Yeah. They ask you to transfer money so you can actually help them to catch the bad guys. Oh, oh wow. Really? And that could be money they ask for themselves or yeah. for a third party. Yeah. And you know, some people absolutely fall on the scam. I th because as you're saying it, mm -hmm. as you're even saying, so I get a text from my institution, and now because we're used to that. Like for me, I know, like there's been a couple times where I've gone to some buy a big purchase and it doesn't go through, and I say, wait, 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 wait. Chase is gonna text me. Give me a second. And they text me and say, is it whatever? Mm -hmm. And then you yes or whatever, and I know it will say like where it's coming from or whatever. Right, right. I know that I can respond to that. It goes through right away. Other times, like, so I can see that you get a text, you think that it's your bank saying, oh, it's me, and now you're setting yourself up almost for a fraud. Yeah, that's Because it that's sounds crazy. so legit. Yeah. Right? yeah. But see, here is the thing. This is a big difference. You are expecting the text. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are banking with the right, bank. Right, right. Oh, and the know. thing is this, right? You're expecting, okay, you are responsive to that. Yeah. But if you know that you just checked your account and you know you're not expecting for that and you yeah. receive it, mm -hmm. maybe you want to take a pause and yeah. say, what am I receiving this? Mm -hmm. The problem is the reaction because let me tell you the thing. The scammers want you to act really quickly mm -hmm. and they don't want you to think about because they uh, want you to be proactive and respond. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that when these or the scammers call the consumer, mm -hmm. they are responsive because they're like, oh, I'm gonna protect my money. Absolutely. Yeah. But you're not yeah. taking the post to react and see the, you know, you see like, the aspect like, am I expecting this? But I, I just was, yeah. I was just in my account. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't make a withdrawal, for instance. You yeah. know that you're doing because you did an action to receive that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing is, is that I want to make sure our listeners know is that no banker or no fraud specialist will ever call you, first of all, uh -huh. oh. for that purpose and your financial institution will not text you to ask you uh -huh. for a password yeah. or for a one time mm -hmm. passcode text and certainly obviously an employee will not ask you and say hey can you provide me your password can you none of that information they'll yeah. call you for other reasons because we gotta reach our clients but yeah. they're not gonna call you to ask for, the, for that information and even by text you say that right they may yeah. say yes or no is that you but it's because you expect it or it's by yeah. email right yeah, yeah. Uh, but not necessarily because they want to ask your information first of all never ever ever give your information to no one okay and I think that's where a lot of people get caught up. Because yeah. if I think that I'm talking to somebody, I want them to resolve this as quickly as possible. So now I'm like blurting out information. It's like, oh, thank but you very much. And yeah. that, and that makes me feel so bad, too, because we hear about all these, like, um, what do they call them? Like people. grandfather schemes or yeah. the old people scheme. And it's like, this is how they're getting those people. And that's mm -hmm. so mean. And we need to help because we got to help a loved one. So we yeah. need to create yeah. awareness and information. And today I'll leave, you, I'll leave you with more information to protect your money and your loved ones, of yeah. course. Mm -hmm. But the third part about that, what I just share is that it is okay if you hang up and say, you know what? I'm going to call 
the bank myself. My actual okay. bank, yes. yeah. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. I know you want to, you're busy, you know, you, you want to respond really quick, but remember, mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose of these. They want you to react, they want you yeah. to respond, they want to create high urgency, but you want to take the post, you know what, I, I'm not comfortable talking yeah. to you right now, uh -huh. so just hang up, it's okay. And I'll call back. And you call the bank yeah. on the back of your debit card or your mm -hmm. credit card, call directly the bank, come visit your branch, visit yeah. us, you know, there, we're always with arms open. Yeah. And let's talk about it. Yeah. And wow. let's see all sizes of, okay, everything is okay, I'm at peace. Mm -hmm. Because that's all you want to know. Yeah. Is everything all right? My money is good. My money is good. Yeah. But you got, need to take the time to consider those factors. That first of all, you're not going to provide personal information to anybody. Mm -hmm. That employees or bankers will not call you to ask you that part of information. Yeah. You go for other purposes, but not ever ask for a pin number because even when you're in the bank and you they don't ask you for you put it in your yeah. keypad absolutely. yourself absolutely right. even yeah. when you're sitting down with the actual like manager or a banker they're like you put it in yourself yeah. i don't even need to know yeah. do they like yeah. slide it over to you yeah. Yeah. I, go, I go like la la la, yeah. la, 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 la. <laughs> and then if they even try i'm like oh no nope right don't so right. say it loud least for you yeah. keep it personal 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 yeah right. i don't we don't need to know it we're never gonna ask you and that needs to be it needs to be clear excuse me today uh -huh. that you never going to get a call to get yeah. that information and again connect your leader back oh, yeah so go ahead i was gonna ask about so like we hear about um you know like security breaches and stuff not so much in banking all the time yeah. but we do hear about that and is there anything that we can do to avoid that or protect ourselves from that well first of all when when you think about texting just block calls right yeah block mm -hmm. that uh, also block any filters on emails, spams, things like that. Yeah. Just you know that you know. And then just protect yourself. Um, here at Chase, we have something called Credit Journey, and it is a tool that keeps you always alerted about what's happening in your credit. It's mm -hmm. also an educational tool, and it's free, and it's for customers and non-customers. Oh, so oh. it's a good way for you to be always on the known of what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you want to be in charge of what's happening with your credit. If yeah. anybody's trying to open an account, I'll tell you this, mm -hmm. you got to protect yourself as much as you can mm -hmm. with technology. Do you see that a lot? Like people trying, uh, uh, maybe not a lot because they, I don't know people that bold, like when people come in with other information, like is that common? Um, you know, there's always all kind of things yeah. that is just hard to tell you which one now is becoming more common than others. Yeah. But bottom line for me is going to be always stay control, mm -hmm. control what you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. And obviously if you are in public places, right, be mindful that those places are not secure. Yeah. Right. Close the browser. If you are in your account information, close the browser, mm -hmm. right? Little and then, basic things like that. Basic Interesting. things yeah. like that. Everything is at the tip of your fingers, right? Mm -hmm. These phones of ours, so intelligent. Also, they get you through here. Yeah. But yeah. control what you can and be secure. Right. Public places, a credit journey that I mentioned is in our website. Mm -hmm. uh, also create alerts, right? One thing that will give you peace of mind is if you create, here at Chase, you can create alerts. Every time you get a deposit, every time mm -hmm. there's a withdrawal, and mm -hmm. then you get a quick, oh, yeah, it's me. I love those things. Really? You, Isn't it? Just now bought that. It was just a little <laughs> drop down it, menu. You I spent 3205, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. But that only took you two seconds. Mm -hmm. exactly. That can protect you so much yeah. by working on resolution all the emotional drain all yeah. this sca how scary it is it's scary. It is scary and let me tell you nobody's safe right now from being scammed oh, yeah. kids teenager older adults and you know in our community also 40 percent can be more affected according to the aarp mm -hmm. yeah 40 percent is a high number 40%. so 40 uh, percent so we need to share we need to be aware of what is out there right mm -hmm. um another thing let me tell you this and this is a spike that we have seen across That's what the I, board. Yeah, Let me like, share you one more thing about a very common scam that is affecting many people. Uh -huh. Checks. Checks. Che Pe do, people and do people checks. still... Okay, I feel you. <laughs> but do, uh, are the checks really... Okay. Well, let me tell you this. <laughs> Believe it or not, okay? And that's all right. Not everybody likes things and technology, mm -hmm. right? But the truth of the matter is that people still can make checks and pay others through checks. Yeah. And the thing is that we recently saw scamming through 
scammers going through the mailboxes and getting checks. Oh, we, we read yeah, about we that. Read about yep, that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So unfortunately, what they do is that they can sell the account or they can alter or they can create counterfeit checks, right? Oh, and yeah. that's an unfortunate, but a reality. And we saw a spike right now across the world, you know, in the industry. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, maybe you pay a check to someone mm-hmm. and then that person deposits electronic and now you have they have the original check. Maybe they do not dispose the check properly. Mm-hmm. And now the check is hanging around somewhere. And true statement, let me share something personal. Mm-hmm. I used to, back in the days, yeah. give a check to my guy that will do the backyard. Mm-hmm. And he just misplaced my check. And yes, they use that check. So it's best practice, okay. yes, because they alter that. So they use chemicals and delete that. So you need to. Really? Oh, yes. So you and need. And then to, put in any amount. And they, they, they put want. any other amount and your signature is there. That's yeah. the only thing oh, they don't know. Yeah, it's alter. almost like a blank check. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's important that when, if you're using check, mm-hmm. be aware of completing every line. Mm-hmm. Make a line next to the numerical or the written yep. amount. Mm-hmm. Put a memo. Write everything you can. Use a permanent pen. Mm-hmm. And then here's the thing that they're advising based on the mailbox uh, yeah. bridge. Just get the check directly to the post office. Right. Yes. If you okay. still want to use that method. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you give check to others, I mean, if there's any way you can transfer. I mean, I stopped doing checks, of course. Because oh, yeah. I was like. Wait a moment. <laughs> My violence, like, it was a lot of money, ladies. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Really? Like, three thousand dollars. And I'm like, Who? wait. Yeah. So they use that check, and I say, never, ever again, mm-hmm. that check. But again, it's your preference. Yeah. Nobody's going to tell you how you want to do your banking. Right. But yes, use the best way you can do to protect yourself, right? And yeah. that's right, me. And just right. <laughs> yeah. And you try to do the same signature all the time, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So you know it's effectively if it's altered. Mm-hmm. Of course, mine was like evident. Like he was very terrible. Yeah. You know, they say yeah, they altered. <laughs> they didn't really like, try. Come on, like, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, obviously, no brainer, right? right. But uh, those are the aspects that I can tell you. Use a check, take it directly to the post office. Use a permanent pen. Make every line. Make it difficult because, okay. yeah, these people are doing. Do you, um, when when it comes to um, someone that commits bank fraud, is do they do you ever find out who those people are? Is it easy to track them down, or are they pretty, you know, so with the, the with technology and everything? Well, you know what, we have obviously a specialized team for that. Yeah. I don't have all the answers mm-hmm. about that. But we want to make sure that our customers get all the steps that they need to take. Yeah. And obviously, our fraud specialists take it from there. Um, but the whole goal is to make sure they identify and they provide the customer a peace of mind. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's more about creating the awareness, the prevention piece, rather than going through the after. Yeah. Obviously, mm-hmm. if you're someone who, unfortunately, already gave your information and right now you're like, oops. Yeah, what are you doing? I did fall into that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just go to the bank. Mm-hmm. No worries, don't panic. Now you have to track your account, monitor your account more than ever, mm-hmm. right? Create a credit journey, like I say, it's a good way to create alerts and make sure you are aware of what's happening. Right. So do a like browse and do like a reflection of what can I do right now, mm-hmm. uh, and also connect with with us because we're gonna make sure that we direct you to the next steps. And most of the times, it's gonna be put up for the specialist. Something that's also basic that I think a lot of us fall by the wayside is is like account passwords and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, the easier you make it when you put your name one two three, <laughs> it's usually not a good way to do things. Right. Um, oh, that hurts me right here. Oh, please. no. Some people go password. Yeah. One, uh, uh, password zero 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 zero. You know what? Let me tell you something about that. Mm-hmm. Now at least financial institutions are not allowing certain passwords. Yes, oh yeah, I saw we that. Yeah. I mean, really smart. You technology. cannot use your name yes. inside and of your we password. Say, and I don't know what you're putting into. But I say, oh, sorry, I can't take that. Whatever yeah. you're doing right now, it's not safe and it's weak. And even when you go to companies, right, and you create right. passwords, say this is too weak. So they do. Just mm-hmm. yeah. trust that. They trust do tell that. You it's, it's they too say weak. this is too weak. It's kind of medium. It's strong. Mm-hmm. Try to do. And I get it. Oh, in this life, we have so many passwords. So many. Seriously. Password. My God, yeah. if I tell you how many, right? I mean, in, in my Ooh. phone and like my, the password, you know, the Apple has like the password thing where they lock your thing. Yep. But like at the top of it, it's like 
these passwords all need yeah. to be changed because they whatever. And I'm like, I'm not changing all those. Right? right? I'm not doing But I always say, you know, add one more letter or one more number, change right. it in between. Yeah. yeah. You uh -huh. only know, but yeah. don't make them weak because it's easier to, to guess and you really don't want to do that. Yeah. Right? Right. Um, but yeah, ladies, it's, those are the things that are important. Well, that, and that's good. And I'm, I'm glad that they, that they do have like that firewall now, like this is too weak or you know, like Absolutely. you already used this one or whatever. The only thing I hate is like when you change your password and you're like, you, cause you forget it, and they're like, "Oh, you just you can't use the same password you just." What used. did I put it? Well, what is it? <laughs> and good luck, right? right. But, but hey, you know what? We always, gotta do those. But I always remember, it's just to protect you. And Absolutely. You that, Absolutely. If you so, if a company is really having that level, yeah. I mean that that's yeah. something that makes you peace, gives you peace of mind. And for me, it's all about that. Yeah. yeah right? One of my accounts, I literally have to change the password every time I go in. I never know mm -hmm. what it is. I never know. know what it is. But one, <laughs> one of the um when. Another one I'm guessing is to monitor your account. You know, right. like don't yeah, be one right. of those people that just be like set it and forget it. Right. Like you don't you don't right. know anything. Like yes. know how much money you have in the bank. Um, and then, you know, I have this problem too. Like oftentimes when I do go through my account, I'm like. Eight dollars, <laughs> right? So that, where's this coming from? Squarespace. Why is this happening? Uh, and, um, um, Amazon. And, and yes. sometimes like, oh, oops, it was me, but no, so no, it's not me. Yes. What? Ha one time, um, I don't know. We were on. We had Amazon account, and we share an account. And that what was happening is that there was a scam. It was a little scam going on inside of an inside of the account, and it was like skimming like. Eight dollars, fourteen dollars, three dollars, little by In little, volume. until I finally like called the bank and was like, the "I'm one... missing." I think it was like fourteen hundred dollars. Oh um, they ended up giving it all back to me, but like it's because I wasn't really paying attention. I would see the alerts and I'd be like, "Oh, that must be you know whatever, whatever," not knowing that I was literally being scammed. <laughs> so <laughs> now, <laughs> now I make sure that I monitor my account yeah, and absolutely. know what's going in. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm so glad you say that because here's the thing, right? There are patterns within our behaviors that yeah. we know clearly, yeah. right? Yeah. That yeah. you know how you bank. Nobody but, knows how you do your banking and mm -hmm. you do have those patterns. Like, uh, this is traditional. This is normal in my account. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is not. But you touch a very important point, right? Now we have a part that we got to play. And yes. it is check your account. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. do I ask you to check your account three times a day? No. I get it. <laughs> yeah. But Nobody. you know what? Yeah. The bank is providing you information, your statements. Yeah. Uh, now you have, like I say, the tools of the alerts, mm -hmm. right? And I get it. Maybe there are many. You just want to create a couple that are, you know, valuable to you. Yeah. yeah. But monitoring your account changed the whole direction oh, yeah. mm -hmm. of your money. And um, you know what? In, in another token, like my, my subscriptions, when they're like, they charging me double. <laughs> By the time I realize, you know, and I get it, I, I'm yeah. trying to be very proactive with that because right. obviously I play a role educating others. And, yeah. and again, sometimes the things that I share is by experience. I got a scam with a check, you know, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. oh. So now I can tell you by experience that these things are real. Like these things are something you can prevent. Right. And again, no shame. If you are someone who is getting something that doesn't feel right, yeah. trust your God. Yeah. yeah. Share with someone. Right. Maybe I sit down with you and you're knowledgeable and maybe you went through it and mm -hmm. I go with you and I say, you know what? What do you think about this? Yeah. 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 And then you and I, you Thanks. know, maybe discuss it and it brings a whole new perspective. And then obviously, talk to an expert, right? right? All the time. Right. All the time. Yeah. Whether, you know, there's a lot of scams out there. Like, I'm mm. telling you, there's so oh, many. Yeah. The IRS calling you. You owe money. <laughs> oh, Scam likely. The tech support. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a family member. Hey, I need money. And then you know what? Yeah. You panic. Yeah. Because this really is really a moment to panic. And you, you know? know that it's big business because there are so many commercials and there are people who now have businesses mm -hmm. to help you to help protect yep. you against those things. Like people like uh, those commercials, the IRS will not call you yeah. and, and, <laughs> yeah. and all of that. I think that's a commercial that we run here yeah. on the station. So all of those things like this is a business where people are really, really scamming yeah. and now they've had to make businesses to, to help protect us as much as we can. But thank goodness that Chase, Chase Bank has these things already. Yeah, installed. and of so course, come. We have more tools and resources to share. Anytime. Yes, that's this is a question that I've always had. You know, like um, third party, third party apps and stuff like that that get your information that you know, maybe like a let's just for example PayPal or something you could set your account up for. Is there any way to really protect yourself against third party apps? Like you know these apps sometimes like help you monitor your credit your account and oh. stuff like that. Are those bad? Are those good? Are there any like? I just don't don't have a full opinion about that, yeah. but I will say always double, triple check mm -hmm. the purpose of your business with those third parties. Right. 
and really find the level of trust if yeah. it's something you want to do business and conduct business with mm-hmm. yeah i'm not for instance on me personal i, I i'm not into that that much yeah. but i will say that research yeah mm-hmm. uh Proof that this is something that you want to do and it is effective for you, mm-hmm. but to find the value of the truth of who, who they are and what they offer. Yeah. So yeah. that's all I can say about do that. Do some research about do who you you're research. sharing your information. Who you're sharing your information yeah. right. and uh, yeah. just track and see if it's effective for you, it's valuable, but I will say that you just want to take your due diligence, mm-hmm. right? Do you recommend things like uh, facial recognition and things like that? Mm-hmm. Highly. Okay. Highly. Yeah. Because I used to think that if they, the government knows my face is going to track me all the right. time. Right. <laughs> In fact, we recommend that. Okay. Most, like more than a password that you're creating right there, you yeah. know, face recognition, a thumb finger, print. like thumbprint, right? Yeah. Yeah. All those things help. Absolutely. Do recommend that. Sometimes I open her phone with my face so I can... It happened once. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, copy and paste, what's up in here, you know? (laughs) But you know what, yeah, there's there's more uh, more ways, and we like to just tell our listeners, you know, everything starts with educating ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We hear a little bit of what is out there, Mm -hmm. but don't leave it in here. There's much more, and we got to just share. Absolutely. And we play a role here, just come and visit us, of course. Oh, yeah. And we talk about monitoring your credit, right, and then review your accounts, we talk about it, but also... Also, you talk about that. We talk about keeping your information personal, right? Yes. Don't mm-hmm. share anything. Uh, contact the bank right away. Yes. That's a part of yes. the process. Uh, make sure that never click links, please, my people. That's a listen. Thank you for saying that. Listen, yeah. please yeah. stop clicking links. Yeah. I've had literally every single one of my social oh. media accounts hacked into yeah. in the last less than a year okay every single one I'm yeah. sorry. um and i don't even remember clicking a dang link i think i got an yeah. email and i was sleepy and i clicked the link and it the rest was over isn't it something yeah yeah mm-hmm. in a second in yeah. a second just take your time don't. and they fraud people get very creative well, they, they will too. set up an email yeah. uh, address and 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 take a logo and stick it right in that and have so no smart. problem. Yes, they are. Wow. Yes, they yeah. are. They yeah. are. And mm-hmm. that's why we want to tell you pause. That pause changed the duration of everything. Even yeah. in financial literacy, when I share, I'm like, when you're taking a financial decision, anything you're doing, just take that pause, please. Yeah. yeah. That minute, that second of like, wait a moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What am I doing? What's happening? Yeah. What's happening here? <laughs> right, right. Why am and I putting in all this information? You, you get this yeah. uh, five seconds, like uh, whatever seconds you need to review. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wake up and yeah. I'm like, no, wait a moment. This, hold on. Yeah. That's crazy. Hold down, hold on. And then, of course, never transfer money to someone that you don't know. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So Please wait, don't. That's another thing. Like something like a, like a Zelle transfer or something mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. that. Oh, sometimes when you put your, the number in there or something, it might not come up. Uh, it ha- asks you like, do you know this person? Right. And you've never, like, you've never sent money to this person before. Yeah. Sure. Now, you, if you think about it, they're stopping you. They're like, yeah. yeah. You know, here's hold a, on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing <laughs> about that, right? That my recommendation is double, triple check. Yeah. Yes. Because let me tell you, even though you're friends, mm-hmm. maybe that person changed their phone number or email. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't assume anything, please. Yeah. And just say, hey, Daniel, so, hey, you know, I know you're expecting this. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything's still the same? Right. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Again, mm-hmm. That connection, that communication will change everything. Yeah. Because again, they're trying to prevent you. And you say, yeah, everything is good. Right. And maybe it's too late, yeah. right? I know. So no. just triple, triple check the information. And these fraudulent people would probably send you a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and you're like, thank you, you for... Know? And here's the thing. They may call you and call you or text you until they get what they want. Yeah. And after it's done, it's like... Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. Like to your point, right? Yeah. Now they leave you alone. It's right. Like, Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. It's but crazy. Uh, those are the things you can definitely prevent. Um, so again, steps is just just block, yes. resist mm-hmm. yes. to answer. Don't be prompt to do that. Yeah. Right. One of the steps that I love is and refuse it. Refuse yeah. it. <laughs> Pause it. Right? right. Refuse is like if it's a business that you don't recognize. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah. Go directly to the website. Double do check. your thing directly. I like that uh, that your 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 I think that I hear your main message is to do our due diligence. Yes. You know, like pay attention. Don't be lazy when it comes to our money. If it takes another step of just calling the bank, mm-hmm. dropping by there just to see, stop pressing links, stop arbitrarily <laughs> sending money. You know, like just do your due diligence to make sure that what you're doing is correct. And you know what? Here's the thing, right? They have a they have a goal. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all these common denominators mm -hmm. is that they want to gain creative as artists for you to react. Yeah. All I can tell today, even though like there's so many scams, all these things, is to, to really take that time for you not to be reactive, right? Mm -hmm. Block, control what you can. Yeah. And certainly, you know, validate the information. And then last one for me is always talk about it. Talk about, um, talk about, talk about it with others, to experts, to friends, and you can help others and then yourself too because now you have a second yeah. to kind of like review if this is this is that right doesn't seem doesn't right feel, to thank me. you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you, and here's the yeah. thing the truth of the matter is that these attempts are not going to stop That's yeah right. they're probably just going to get worse they with ai they, and all kinds of stuff bring new ones they have the common ones they have the obvious ones we yeah. have more new ones but now what we can do Mm -hmm. is say, okay, let me validate the information and yeah. let me see if this is, this is kind of a line of what I do. And if it doesn't feel right, most likely it's not it's right. Not. Yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't, check. I got, I got check. a phone call last night from Beijing, China. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they were like... <laughs> First of all, I don't understand. <laughs> right. The, you're <laughs> something, 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 DHL. And then, like, and then, like, switched into English, like, you have to pay whatever amount of money yeah. so you can receive the iPhone that you ordered. And I'm oh. like, in my bank account, like, yep. Yep. $900. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is right. Listen, everything is related with a price, right. yeah. with a lottery, with something right. that you're gaining. To get your DHL delivery yeah. of the iPhone right. you ordered, you have yeah. to that's yeah, send another, us nine hundred dollars. That's another common denominator to get your attention, yeah. right? To and it was at nine p.m. Yeah, yeah. It's Little bank thing. calling you at nine exactly. p.m. Like, exactly. I'm really so out of pattern. Because <laughs> right. right. first of all, the bank closed at five. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Sunday. Are you crazy? Like, like why are you calling me at night? And that's when I get those. Does so many calls about one eight hundred number. Yeah. I just blocked and I I have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Not yeah. today. Oh, not, today. not with me. Not today. My phone number <laughs> list is crazy on my phone. Yeah. Every time scam likely block. block I'm block, telling block. you because <laughs> yeah. they can get you. You know, passing the days another vulnerable. Oh gosh, I was so sad. <laughs> You've got experience. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I know no bank, things. Like about ten day, ten years ago, and mm. this tells you that everybody they're so good, right? Yeah. So I have this uh, company com uh, computer, and they're so amazing. I have a printer and everything mm -hmm. and yeah. they were amazing honestly yeah. they call me they're like oh there's something that's the tech support common scan yeah. and they were so nice and all that mm -hmm. <laughs> next time you know they fixed the virus whatever it was yeah. right. and when i saw that receipt like let me check right it said all grammatical errors because oh, that's another thing yeah. right yeah you take mm -hmm. money from you it's all and i was like no oh, yeah. this yeah. cannot be happening <laughs> <laughs> I th what is that called? It's like th there's a term for that. It's not phishing. It's a tech super scan. It's, yeah. So it, I work in, in corporate, and so we have like we have the oh, phishing the that they send us with the emails like, yeah. all the time. But there's one for like for for calls and over the computer stuff. It's called I don't know. The malware. Phishing or phishing. Yeah. It's phishing. Yeah. It is phishing. Right. And you can always you know forward that to us if you yeah. ever get something like that. Yeah. We yeah. can give you more resources, but feel free to forward that when you yeah. get those things and kind of like identify them. They all always have a grammatical error. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> grammatical, or, the, or the email address uh, is off by it's something. It's so off. The yeah. font is the different. X, Y, Z. Dot, dot O-R-P. Yeah. Or like <laughs> right. And you're like, yeah, right. You know? But again, there's people that don't know that. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. need to kind of like share, share, share when That's we know true. something. Yeah. Uh, I was paranoid that day. I was like, oh, this yeah. keeps happening to me. <laughs> and it's it, it just like true if about I, everything in life. If you share information, that's how we all protect ourselves and that's how yeah. we protect others. And you that's know? what I learned. If I, if I had the time, if I really pause it and yeah. call them directly and say, what's going on? Because I didn't call you. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Why they will call me, the nicer they are, they won't yeah. call you to go to your computer, right? Yeah. So again, that was 10 years ago, my live and learn lesson. Yes. And yeah. now, obviously for me, I take it personal because right. I experienced yeah, things myself. Yeah. And then uh, now we have a lot of tools and resources. So we want to make sure don't leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Really uh, come and really, if you yeah. want to learn more about it, then obviously we have tools on our website too, how you mm -hmm. protect your money. So. Mm -hmm. Really? Put you your alerts nice. on. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. I make yes. sure that I put my alerts on for everything now. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Huh? I didn't charge $2. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, $2? You, you work so hard for your money. $2 or $2. $2 so next yeah. time you know, accumulates, right? Yeah, so. yeah, I lock my credit cards when I'm, when I'm not using yeah. them. There you go. That's very yeah. true, too. Yep. Yeah. Again, you got to use what it works for you, yeah. right? It's so different for everybody, but you can control things. Absolutely. That's uh, bottom line. Angelica, thank you so much because Such I think that this is a very important conversation. We don't talk about it enough. We talk about it amongst ourselves, but yeah. we don't really get the tools and the information we knew, need to protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I really appreciate you coming in here and yes. schooling us. 
with even like it, it as, as I'm listening, I'm like, that's such basic information, yeah. but we don't do it. And we I don't. think that's what the biggest thing is. Double yes. checking, triple checking, doing our due diligence, making a call, you yeah. know, protecting our cards, stronger password, right. you know, putting right. on alerts, face recognition, all of the things. So yes, um, absolutely. I appreciate for, I appreciate you letting us know even just the little things that we can do yeah. to yeah. just protect ourselves and our money because with inflation and protect your going on one. right now. A right? dollar's a lot. Protect your parents, yeah. your friends, your family. Mm -hmm. This is information that you really want to share. And yeah. uh, other adults, anyone, you know, obviously can yes. be a scam. People, this is Chase Bank. We, uh, with the Mattapan branch, if you want a personal banking experience, if you want to talk to people that look like you, that, that work like you, that want to protect you and want you to do better, we always encourage you to go visit our friends down at Chase Bank. That's the Mattapan come, come right on. there. It's a, you can't miss it. It's right next to Dunkin' Donuts. 1617, Blue Kill 161, go get a, go get a, Oh, because they <laughs> always say 16, 17. Oh, and you, oh, see, <laughs> now I like it. That's the Boston, that that's the Boston branch. branch. <laughs> yeah. 1617 or 1617, yes. however you like, we're right there. And I work with awesome, awesome team. So yeah. it's awesome. Business. Definitely, definitely. Thank so Angelica, so Brianna, thank you guys so much. Chase Bank, thank you so much for doing your due diligence and talking to the community yeah. about what can protect them. It's always a pleasure to have you in here. We're going to go to a quick, quick commercial break, and we'll be right back, people. The rerun of this will be on our YouTube channel, so make sure you guys go subscribe to that and watch all of our Money Matters segments because there are some gems. Yeah. I mean, gemalitos in there, all right? Gemalitos. Get them. Uh, Spark <laughs> FM Online, number one for urban and Caribbean music. We'll be right back. Woo!